Two, two characters, uh, Trinity and Neo, went to this young lady and they asked her for some information uh, vital to their cause. And uh, she said, yeah, sure, I'll give you the info if Neo kisses me. <laughs> well, Trinity didn't like that idea, but Neo said, no, I got this. So he walked up to her and he kissed her. And then he stepped away and he looked at her and he said, now give me the info. She looked at him and she said, no, 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 no. You gotta kiss me the way you kiss her. And every time I think about that line, I realize I can never kiss another woman the way I would kiss my wife. Yeah. Aww. She said, kiss me like you kiss her. I was out one night having dinner alone when someone who looked just like a love from years past walked through the door. Now that I'm quite married and quite in love, I was a little taken aback by the twinge of conflict felt when I thought about it just a little more. She walked right in, took her place two bar stools away, placed her order, and then I imagined hearing words from her lips calmly say, kiss me like you kiss her. The kiss makes a statement, the kiss sets the tone. Kiss her till her eyes see stars aglow. Kiss her till her ears hear sounds of song. Kiss her till her arms go limp. Kiss her till her eyelids wilt. Kiss her till she says you need to leave and go home. As my rumination ceased, I asked for my check. As my concerned forehead creased, I picked up my bag and quickly headed for the exit. As I walked away and I made it through the foyer, I considered the realization of my momentary consideration reaching the finality of a final foregone conclusion. That at the end of the day and given my druthers regarding faint forgotten feelings felt no longer, I could not hold nor could I caress. I could not adore nor could I cherish. I could not love nor could I miss. I could not care for and neither could I kiss any other the way that I kiss her. Yes. <laughs>